Hi, it's Matt. Right, I thought I'd follow on from our videos from the place of the world's longest reverb, the engine down oil tanks. Uh, with this, I thought I'd talk a little bit about reverb and show how people can use it to fake it to sound like there's someone else. Now, we didn't fake those videos, but I've got a thing from it that means I can fake this one. Um, so firstly, reverb. It's kind of like echo. Um, the difference is that an echo is when your brain perceives it as discrete sounds. So you'd hear, hello, 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 hello. there's lots of different hellos. Whereas reverb is more like one big thing that goes on for longer than the original sound did. So going hello would just sound like hello, kind of? Both echo and reverb come from sound reflecting off hard surfaces. So every room has different amounts of hard surfaces, so every room and every place has a different reverb. So you can tell the difference, say, when you're in a bathroom to when you're in a living room, because your bathroom's a small boxy room with lots of hard surfaces, and your living room's got lots of soft furnishings in it, normally. So that's what reverb sounds like naturally. When you are recording things, you sometimes want to add fake or generated reverb to the thing you've recorded to make it sound nicer. So for example, vocals in singing sound a lot better when they're in a slightly more reverberating room, which is why churches and large halls always sound so much better um, for music than other places do. There are many different types of reverb effects, but the one I'm going to use today is called convolution reverb. And what it does is it gets the sound you recorded somewhere else and an impulse which has been recorded in the place you want it to sound like, and then combines them together with maths so it sounds like the thing you recorded was recorded in the place where the impulse was. So for this to work, you need an impulse. So on location, you record the impulse response of the place you're in. And to do that, you record a very loud instantaneous bang. So we got that in the oil tank using a gunshot. So if I go on my computer, you'll see this is what we've recorded. This is a loud bang followed by the reverb of the room. So it just you can see it getting quieter and quieter and quieter. And that goes on for a good minute or so. Now we can use that, put it inside a convolution reverb, It'll hear all of that echoing, all of that reverberation, and make the sound of my voice in this room do that kind of thing. So, let's record me into here. Hello, this is me at home. I am not somewhere very echoey. And let's hear what that sounds like normally. Hello, this is me at home. I am not somewhere very echoey. Well, there we go. That, that sounds like I sound like. So let's add an effect. We want reverb and we want convolution reverb. Now I've made a preset here and I can load in that bang sound. So I've recorded me into this. We've told it that we want to use a convolution reverb and we want to make it sound like that bang sounded in that room. I will apply it. Ta-da! So we can see here it's got a load of noise after it. So let's give it a play. Hello, this is me at home. I am not somewhere very echoey. Can you hear that still going? Now we can do that to anything. We could put some music in there. We could, if I had forgotten to say something when I was recording my video in there, I could record it again later and then use this convolution reverb to make it sound like I was there. Which I didn't. You could see my lips moving in time. I've made it so you can download our impulse responses which we recorded at the Inch and Down oil tanks. Um, you can find the link in the description below. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. I'll see if I can answer them. And if you haven't watched them, go find our other videos from the Inch and Down oil tanks. Tom did one on the place itself and how the world record was found there. 
I did some musical experiments there, and there's also a behind the scenes on the Matt and Tom channel. Thank you, and goodbye. Hope that worked. <laughs>